The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I want you to take a look. This is the E-mini S&P December contract. You see here on the far left where this high was made, that was the day the Federal Reserve uh, was meeting and had their big meeting. And then, of course, we had the big breakdown and then the rally back up and then another big breakdown. But if you'll notice here, we had a perfect ABCD up here that we talked about yesterday at 43.69. But, but unfortunately, the high was uh, 4371 and a quarter. So we missed it by about uh, one and three quarters points. The cold on, we've got a, a, a telephone message coming in here. So bear with me here one second. And uh, uh, it's what I did, Jake. God dog it. Hold on just a minute. They said I did something wrong. So let's try it all over again. Uh, boy, time is running short on me, boys and girls. It really is. All right, we're going to go up here and change windows, and I put screens right there. There's a screen. I put that on screen one, just like it did before. Now, hopefully, it'll be working. Let's check and see. Maybe that'll be working. Hopefully, it is. What's important today, folks, you'll see the 382 was made here. Let's blow this up, but look how quickly we've given up 50 handles. Boys and girls, if we go below here, you see this level right here? You're going to see a C-R-A-S-H. I'm not going to spend it. Expend the the, uh, the energy to say what that word means, but uh, starts with a C, ends in an H. If we go below here, this would be in so incredibly bearish that you just can't believe it. It will be as bearish as this one right uh, here. So you can see what happened there. So just be really careful, folks, because if we get below here, look at this, folks. We've given up 55 handles in two hours, three hours. Not a good sign. All right, let's move over and take a look at the gold market because it has literally given up the ghost. And this is what's important here. Remember, we bought this at 81. And when you have a $1,500 profit right here, folks, the best thing you can do is put your – the worst thing you do is put your stop at break even. There's no question about that. Now, let's just look at that that big rally we had, $15. Oh, so we're just going to take it little by little and go back to see. We haven't really got any highs to really measure – any 382 on about the only one we have would be uh, either this one or even that one there this was probably that's probably something I don't know yeah that that goes right to the 382 but I mean, if you can call this a high that's a rally of uh, seven dollars boy that isn't very much but here's the key if we look at this now on the long term weekly folks we are below believe it or not we're below the 786. You see there, 1869, we're now trading at 1867. The train says we're moving on down to 1827. So uh, I hope everybody put their stop at break even because after you have a $1,500 profit, that is your money in your pocket, folks. So you've got to protect it. And the worst you should have done was to have your stop at break even. I keep talking about that day after day. Whether that happens or not, I'm not sure, but that's the uh, main thing that you really have to do. Very, very important. You know, it's just uh, just incredible. Well, hey, from my perspective, it is anyway. Okay, let's move on here to another one that we want to talk about here, which is the euro. Everybody's been talking about the euro as a great buy. Well, we've had a very nice rally. You can see there's the rally. We had the ABCD down here. We went a little bit lower, and then we had the rally back. We've rallied a little over 100 pips, which is a considerable rally. So let's see why it stopped right here so we're going to go and make this a hourly chart right here okay and there's where it stopped okay and you can see the high back here is where it stopped i can tell you just by looking at a few charts it's going to be almost exactly 50 percent let's just double check and there it is it's exactly 50 percent now we do have a few a b c d's on the way up here and this is an hourly chart so you're able to you're able to do those the first one we have is right here, okay? Now, people are always asking me about how, Lori, 
uh, did her trading in the euro. There's an ABCD pattern here. And then if you look at the next one you had here, you have another ABCD pattern right there. See, that's all she was doing. She was watching these ABCD patterns to see that they lined up. She would have sold this one. The market broke down about uh, pretty good, about 50, about 50 pips from there. And now it made the 50% retracement, and then it went a little bit lower. Now, people have asked me, is this a three drive to a top pattern? No, folks, it is not. I'll tell you why. There's no symmetry here. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. But you see, there's no symmetry here. You really need... You really need some nice symmetry. That's what you look for is nice symmetry. And we had that in one of the other things we were looking at today that we just talked about. Let's get it up here. Uh, move it up. Here's where we are. I'm going to blow this up now so we can see it pretty good. And all right, there's where we are. We'll just take this off. There's drive one. There's drive two. And there's drive three. You see the symmetry? Symmetry is when the market goes from high to high to high in nearly the same time. Now look what's happening here, folks. There's high to high to high. Now is that so hard? That, that's, not, that's not really hard. So using the same context, what we're going to do is we're going to look at that A, B leg right here. There's the one last night at 55. Then we had another one right here. And it came right in. Well, it should have gone to... Uh, should have gone to 78, but it only went to uh, to uh, 71, which was the exact 61% retracement. And remember what our good friend who I used to work for many years ago, Albert Einstein, when I was working there at the University of Chicago when I was nine years old, getting my Ph.D. and doctorate. Anyway, wait, was that? No, that wasn't me. Anyway, let's take a look at this. You'll see here we do have equal highs, and we do have an exact 61% retracement up here. And look at this. For now, we're 51 handles below here. Folks, if we start getting below here, I'm just going to show you where we're going, okay? There's where we're going right here. This is, I mean, you know, and it's going to go quick, too, let me tell you. It'll be this one right here. If it does, it probably won't. But if it does, we're heading down 100 handles to uh, 4080 is where we're going to go. That's If this goes below here today, that's really bad. And let me tell you why, folks, okay? You see this little ABCD pattern we just talked about? If that one fails, the first sign that it's going to fail is it gets below 4,300. And then, of course, if it goes below this one, then you're going to be looking at that right here. And then people are going to say, hmm, this market is kind of bearish. Okay? Now, let me take one second here to go over and, and bring something up here with these treasury bonds. Uh, Barry Steinmetz, who, who's, who runs Starlight Capital, I believe he's one of the big hitters in the uh, – and the hedge, hedge uh, shuck. Hold on just a minute. What we got here? Maybe we got a caller coming in here. Hold on a second here. Oh, we got a call here from Richard in Massachusetts. What can I help you with, Richard? Let me get this back up here so we can see it. Okay, are you on the line? Yes. Hello, Larry. Hi. What can I do for you, my friend? Stay with us. Don't well, break, got okay? I, I, got I sent you a text message. Uh, on Skype a few minutes ago. Okay, uh, wait till after the wait till after the uh, commercial, Richard. Okay. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we have Richard on, I think, from the great state of Maine. Richard, how are you doing? Hello, Larry. Are you back still? You're back in Vegas yet? Uh, next, tomorrow, next day. All right, what can I help you with, my friend? Okay, I was looking at the Treasury bond on the weekly and the monthly chart about 30, 40 minutes ago, and I happened to know, I happened to notice uh, what appears to me to be a three drives to a bottom around uh, 112 on the, the Treasury bond, a 30 year. And I think if we bought that thing over the next week or so, maybe week after next, We'd find a nice little buy that could last us until June. That is, I think maybe we should even buy the June contract and just watch it float up to about 140, huh? Well, there's a possibility. Now, I posted a chart in here on the weekly chart, and I've got a price objective of 105, Richard. But what you're looking at, getting on the hourly chart, I'm going to bring this up here. I hope you can see it because this is really a clear chart, from my opinion. Here's the high that we made back at 120. That was a 382. That's when the Fed did their first meeting. There's when they did their second meeting. And then we had the big move down. We had, I'm going to just draw it in so we'd be able to see it because this is a, you know, one of the larger traded things. You go down from your high, your low came here on the 22nd. We rallied, we rallied several days all the way up into the, uh, 20 uh, right there you can everybody can see it right there we came down and we made our price objective at 112.28 the low was 112.10 and now we've had a rally the problem Richard is if you take the high of that BC leg back on the 25th and you measure that from the high down to the low you're going to see that today's day uh, today's high today was an exact 50 percent retracement with an ABCD pattern in here so the only way your the only way your long-term project here of going higher will work is if you can get this thing above 115 but from my perspective I still think we're heading down to 105 and that's the area that I'm thinking we're going to be going to but that's my two cents worth so we each have an opinion, okay. and if, if, if you bought it down there, you got a great trade on, so just make sure you put a stop in. But uh, this market is still headed far south, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, I, I, can, I can understand that. So what you're saying is it could go into discount territory if it breaks below five. Uh, no, it's not really discount. It's just that the people have to pay more for the bonds. So that's that's another reason for but it. So I, I mean, hope that I hope to that helps. 90, 98, it's going to be 
It's going to be a discount instead of a be premium a, on the. Be, be a six percent coupon is what it'll be, which will be a big surprise. Does that help? Okay, that helps. Thank you, Larry. Have a safe Thank trip back and tell, tell your lovely bride I said hello. Okay. All right. Okay. I will. You bet. That's right. Richard Roop, folks, who had just had a birthday on the 27th, and we had a nice salutation for him. And boy, did I, did I kick the cat on that one, folks. 27th of September was Mark Douglas's birthday, and he had a birthday too. But unfortunately, he passed away six years ago, and uh, we weren't able to give him the accolades that he really needed. Because, folks, I've been doing this for a long, long time, and one of the most unfortunate, one of the most fortunate things that ever happened to me was when Mark moved here in '96. He came here to Tucson to spend. Uh, I, they were here five years, and then they moved up to uh, Scottsdale, where all the shopping was up in 2001, or actually in 2002. But uh, we worked every day. That's where he wrote the book, um, the uh, trading <laughs> in the zone. But every day, I mean, and not only that, we spent every weekend together. I mean, it was a family affair. So we, in fact, his wife ended up marrying Sarah and I because she she happens to be a preacher. So that's how close we were, and uh, we remained close. But can you imagine having somebody with that much depth of knowledge of what really goes behind a trader's mind and working with him every day for six years? And, uh, boy, I'll tell you. He was really special. My goodness, I tell you, I just can't uh, can't give him enough credit, folks. If you haven't read that book, Trading in the Zone, you're really missing something really spectacular. And if you wanted to extend it, get the audio version where you can hear Mark's voice and he can talk to you about what trading is all about. And it's all about risk control, folks. I, I didn't get a chance to tell Richard if he'll look at the 382 that came in from the last major high that we had back in here back on the 20th. That's when the Fed was there. And this is what we've done today is we just made a 382 retracement of that. And not only that, but equals the rally that we had back here on the 13th and 14th. So between the 28th and 29th, we rallied uh, uh, almost two handles, which we did just like we did here and then down again. So it just doesn't look very good uh, from that perspective. So if you have any questions, folks, uh, please be sure to uh, you know send me an email or <laughs> call me, folks. I am so exhausted. I shouldn't be doing this show. That's how tired I am. And I, you know, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, do the best. If you have any questions, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Hey Jeff, if you're listening, I know you have some questions about uh, Lori and and the e and the euro. If you call in now. Let's answer them together for everybody. That would be a big help to me and maybe to everybody else because she did some really simple things that worked really good and 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 they work on anything. But let's we've got to we've got to look at a couple of markets here because there's a few markets here uh, that that are really uh, really in super trouble. Let me show you the one that is uh, really uh, shock. Well, not shocking, but we had a grain report today, and evidently it must have been pretty bearish because the beans are down. But what's down? is the Christmas wheat. I mean, I, I, I saw 50 trade. It's at 48 right now. Look at this, folks. There's where we are. Look at this. We're coming down here. It looks like we're heading down, believe it or not, to 518 here in the wheat. Look at this. This has just been a total look at this. Uh, we, we tried the long side here, worked for a very short time, had another one that broke about even. But look at this. It appears to me that we're getting ready to make another ABCD. All the way down to here. Folks, believe it or not, I'm, I'm not kidding you, but Peter Elides a year ago said that wheat was going to break $5 a bushel is what he said. And he's not a wheat farmer or anything like that, but he said it was going down to that level. But look what it's doing today. If we look at this on the daily chart, it's going to look like a falling safe. And there it is. You can see we're breaking down right now. We're at the 1.618 expansion of this whole move right here. And uh, you're down, how much are you down? Oh, my goodness, you're down about, uh, wow, wheat's down about 40 cents today? Whew. Shut the front door and raise the rent. It must be poisonous. That's the only thing I can figure out. But look at this. This is, this is, really, uh, this is really shocking. These poor guys, the wheat farmers, are really in bad shape. Let's go back just a little few years, a few months ago. Okay, we just put this up on the long-term weekly, 
and look where we were. Do you remember back here? It was trading limit up. Look at it right now, folks. Look where we are. That's why you got to believe in the charts because a lot, a lot of people were bullish all the way down. I don't know. Possibly, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. Let me double check the old clock on the wall to see if I've got it working, and then we can. Uh, See how much time I've got left, which is very, very slim. We've only got a few seconds left, and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff on the line. Jeff, how are you doing? Hi, doing well. How are you? Very good. What can I help you with, my friend? <clears throat> um, are we on the air? Yes, sir. You're live. And oh, okay. Just like Memorex. <laughs> yep. There's a delay on my computer. Um, yes. So I have uh, half a dozen more questions on uh, Lori's uh, style of trade. So the first one is if you might know what her win rate was. Yeah, she was hitting better than 55%. 
Okay, so think around 50, close to 60 percent, not 50 quite 60, 59. She was wondering why she couldn't get to 618. And I said, are you making money? And I said, yeah, then forget about it. So it was around <laughs> right around the 58, something like that, as I recall. That's 30 years ago, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Okay, thanks. That's Okay, uh, next question. Did she focus on a particular time of day, like for the first two or three hours of the open, or did she trade around the well, clock? No, no, she never. They, they, well, there was no round the clock back in those days because the, there, there was, there were just they didn't have that yet. So there was an opening at the Chicago. She trade Merck futures, and so that's what she would be doing. She would wait until the opening of the Merck futures, and then that's when her her trading would start. She watched the forex charts, but didn't have access to trading those. She didn't have a large enough account. Okay, so she traded starting around nine thirty Eastern, and then did yes. she stop at a particular time. I know, just the end of the day, that, that was pretty much it. Okay, so she traded until, I guess, about 5 o'clock Eastern time. That's correct. Both, uh, uh -huh. both the euro and, well, no, uh, well, coin closes at 2, well, 2.20. So yes. actually close to the end of the day for each of those yeah, markets. That's correct, yeah. Okay, gotcha, thanks. Um, next question. Uh, so will th would her style of trading, where you look for an ABCD and then... Uh, it, uh, calculate your stop and your target based on the harmonic. Would that work on any commodity, any futures? Yeah, you have the right anything, harmonic? anything that's actively traded, yes, it certainly does. Has to okay. because it's just normal markets. So she focused on those of the euro and the corn because they're liquid, <clears throat> liquid the most liquid. Uh, yes, that's correct, yeah. Well, the euro, okay. because that, that's the most liquid of all, and the corn was the easiest one because it had a margin of only $800 at that, I think $800,000 or $1,000 at that time, so you didn't have to have much to do it, but that's what she did. And she, there would have days she might not trade for a day or two because there wasn't a good pattern, but when the pattern came up, she would take it. Right. By the way, um, I took my I sang a uh, chart uh, this morning. Uh, my first uh, lorry trade was on corn this morning, and it yes. just hit its target about 10 minutes ago. So okay, I'm completely let's, spoiled let's, now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, stop that. Hold on. Let's just get up here and let everybody see it. We'll take a look at the corn because it's been uh, – I haven't even looked at corn. I've looked at beans and I've looked at uh, – here's Christmas corn right here. Let's get this up. Which, which time frame, Jeff? 15 minutes? Yeah, it's uh, hourly. Hourly. Okay. Let's get it up here and we'll take a quick look at it. Oh, I see it right there. Oh, that was a beauty. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Let's get this up here. So I don't know what happened to the grain market. Is a huge well, it had a it had a it had a report. It had a report. But if you're looking here, folks, here, here's you know if you like A B C D, and I I certainly do. But here's what you want to be looking for. First of all, clean all this stuff out. You take your pencil and just draw from your high down to your low, and then take your next one and go to right here, and then from right there you can see a series series of these going up okay but the main one is this one right here and i bet you jeff went short about 489 am i correct that's exactly right that's correct well now if you look at this real closely and i'm sure you can just see this jeff look at this closely because this is the same thing we were seeing in the s p and gold and all the others look at this folks look at the symmetry between this three drive to a top pattern a drive one drive two drive three look at that and if you put this in here and just draw the little pictures in that i like to draw Look at that. It comes right out there, right on the money, and that's what you're looking for. And if you're looking for some type of symmetry, if you look at the time between highs, and that's really what you're watching from high to high and high to high, it's off by about an hour, about an hour and a half, but your, your target doesn't get hit till right there. See, so you sold it right on the money, so you did the right thing. That, that's basically what you got to do. So Thanks. congratulations. Yeah, it worked like a champ. Yeah, um, that's so right. I had a couple I'll, I'll more questions you, if I could. Well, they're they're three dollars each, but you can mail me the check later. <laughs> no, I, that's okay. Fire away, Jeff. Whatever you can, okay. whatever you need. So, um, so when I was looking at this, I mean, I just learned this right a couple of days ago when you brought it up. Um, the, um, you know, that A B C D against the opposite trend um, can be a Gartley. It depends on you know if you have a, yes. a swing. Uh, in that downtrend, to, they use it as the next point, right? So there it is, the right there. Is, there. There's I'm your sorry? Gartley pattern. I'm showing the Gartley pattern now. If you take the high back on uh, in August, okay, and if you just drew 
the ABCD, I'm going to draw it in so everybody can see it. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. And there's your D leg. And uh, the high today in corn was at uh, 490, and that is 707. And corn hit 707 probably more than it hit 618 because that's the harmonic number in it. And by golly, I don't know why, but it's working pretty good. Right. So, um, so I noticed the advantage of, if I call it a lorry pattern, the advantage of the lorry pattern is that if you do not have an X point, you just have a really big drop, say, you know, big trend, and you can't find an X point, or if you do, it's like very far away. Well, huh? you can use lorry's technique where you don't need an X point because it's plus or minus the harmonic, right? So if, it's, if you have correct, a, yeah. right, which, uh, which is a, you know, another good tool to have. So my question, though, is that if you do have that X point and the pattern uh, qualifies as both a Gartley and, uh, you know, an ABCD going against the trend, which like Lori's trade, which way would you trade it? Would you trade it with a plus <laughs> or minus harmonic or would you trade it uh, like the I way just I always trade the um, Gartley is with a, a 0.618 retrace of the A to D? Range. Just go, just go in at D. Just if, if you got A, B, C, D, just go in at D and don't try to be cute and uh, put a stop in, and you're going to be right more than you're wrong. Keep it as simple well, as possible. If you, if you wanted to set a target, what, 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 like what would be your preference for your target? Would it be the six one eight A D, or would it be a harmonic? Oh, you mean on the profit on the on the uh, the trade itself? Yeah. Yeah, be making it right now, right at the 61% retracement. But you have to ask yourself, if it's coming down this fast, see, it's already below the 61% retracement. It's coming down really fast. I would just put a trailing stop in, like at about, you know, lock in uh, basically $400. You've got uh, $600 right now. So if it gets a little bit lower uh, and it holds, see, right now it's not holding. It's still making new lows. But uh, if you get to 4786, uh, four, no, four seven six six, you know, down another couple cents, then you're going to be looking at a seven eight six retracement, and you, if you don't want to carry it overnight, that's where you'd be covering it. Okay, so I, I think it's a. Uh oh. That's Can okay. I hold on and ask you a couple more. Sure, you betcha. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hey, folks, we're back with Jeff from uh, New Jersey. What can we help you with again, my friend? You have another couple questions you said? Uh, I do. Uh, just to clarify the last one, I, I have to be a little bit of a nudge because <laughs> I, I like to have a target when I can. So if you have a pattern that's both a, let's call it a Lori pattern and a Gartley pattern, I think I heard you say you would probably pick the 618 of the AD range if you had to pick a target. Mathematics precedes geometry. There you go. Okay. <laughs> So I'll go with Gartley. Um, yep. Thanks. See, sometimes I can't be here to do like a trailing stop or whatever. I have to leave the computer or something. So I like to have a, a pre-calculated target that I can put in, you know, in any case I can't okay. manage the trade. But okay, okay, so thanks for that. I got two more questions. Um, so my understanding is that, you know, she would uh, calculate the D point of the uh, ABCD and then she would enter her trade. But, of course, sometimes price is going to go a little bit higher before it rolls over, if you're lucky. Um, did she adjust her target no. No. Uh, from the higher yeah. price, or she left nope. it at the calculated D point? She left it at the calculated D point. She left it there. Okay, great. Thank you. And the last question, um, I, I, uh, I wanted to ask uh, your permission <laughs> if I could shade – the AD range, I'm sorry, not the AD range, The well, the qualifying AD range um, by, like, say, two pips. Like, for example, I, I had asked, uh, did she have a minimum um, range for the AD range to qualify for her to trade? And you said, yeah, 30 pips for the euro. That's so correct. So if I made it 28 pips, would that be okay? <laughs> Yeah, let me see. Yeah, you have to you have to write that and, and and give me a written authorization before I let you do that. Okay. <laughs> yes. You know, Jeff. Believe it or not, you can do anything you want to do as long as you use a stop. Do you understand that? Yeah, uh, but okay. I, I like to you know try to optimize, and I uh, yeah. you know, like sometimes this happens you know often. I think it it might happen for you also, where you you have an entry, and price comes up really close. Uh, but no cigar, and it turns over, and you miss the trade. So yeah. I find that shading my targets, um, uh, extending my stops by a couple points, you know, it, it actually helps. You know what I mean? Okay. So well, then that's good. That's what that, you should do. Yeah, she she didn't do any of that. No, but that you could do that. Yes. Okay. So that would be that would not be uh, heinous if I used a twenty eight pip. Uh, no, you you would <laughs> still have your range. authorization to trade. Okay, so you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll send you a form. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's great. So it sounds like if that was thirty years ago, she's no longer trading. Well, she's trading with the gods. She passed away of uh, of a cerebral hemorrhage about uh, seven, oh, eight nine years ago. She was in her sixties, oh, and she uh, no, no, she's a lovely lady and uh, nice woman. She she's a good good person. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's fantastic. I, I appreciate all the details and your time. Uh, I, I want to, um, you know, keep keep this lorry trade 
as a tool when I don't have a Gartley setting up, but I do have an ABCD going okay. against the trend, you know, and I can't find a good X point, I can trade it this way. Okay. But just don't tell anybody else about it. It's for you and me only, okay? Okay. Just <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff, for calling in. When I get back to Philly, we'll get together, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Larry. You bet. Okay, let's move on here to some of these markets here. Uh, we're looking at the corn. We've looked at some of these other things. But the one you want to pay attention to, folks, is this uh, S&P and the Dow Jones. Let's just look at the Dow Jones to see where we are on a percent basis. Uh, well, we've come down pretty good, but the key here is this low here. If we take that out, that's not going to be good. And so far, we've come down to the 786, I believe. There it is right there. We rallied a little bit off of that. We start getting below here, folks. Let me show you what you're looking at. Uh, you're looking at this right here. Let, let's just go down to an hourly. Okay, here is the problem. All right. You see, let me just draw this in here. Get this up here. You see this high right back here, Federal Reserve, right? Federal Reserve high? Okay, just for kicks and giggles. Remember, we made it in the S&P. I haven't even checked this yet this morning. And there's the high in the Dow Jones today. Exact high. You see that? And there's your same pattern that you had in the S&P. There's your 382. Okay? If you get above this, we're going to go a lot higher. But if we get below, start getting below this, what you're going to be looking at is A, B, C, D. If we start getting below here, we've got three hours to go, uh, two hours to go. And I don't think it'll probably happen today, but uh, get ready for Monday because we get below here, you're looking at a move that went from 3,500 down to uh, 336, 1,200 points. Take 1,200 points onto this, 34132, and you'll be looking at the Dow Jones at 3,254. 30, well, basically, 32,500. 32,500 is 1,200 points lower in the Dow Jones. Okay, let's write this up here. I probably won't happen, but what the hey. We'll just see if it's right. There's your AB leg right there. There's your CD. Then we we'll draw it here so we can see it a little clear. And you put it in right there. And uh, there's what we may boy. There's where the ship will start sailing if we get below here. So if we get below here, be careful. Because we haven't even had a vacuum. There's been no fear in this market at all. You know, the people have been talking about it all the way. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. But the fact that it started in the right direction is good enough for me. But we'll wait and see. That's what my target is, folks. And I'm sticking to it. All right. Let's pay attention. No more, no more questions. Al says the board is lit up. You just can't get through. So I can understand that. All right. Let's take a look at uh, back and take a look at this old crude oil that we looked at the other day. <clears throat> I wanted to... Uh, show you there's where the crude is right here okay if you remember last yesterday we were watching this 382 right here if you remember we were watching this 382 okay there's the 382 right here it misses it by about a couple pips but it had a beautiful abcd there if you remember remember this is 30 minutes well let's just go to the 15 minutes so we can see it there it is right here move this over there's the ABCD right there, and there was a 382 within just a pip or two, as they say in the trade. There's where you are right there, okay? You miss it by just a little bit. You notice how this high does not take this high out? That's because this was the ABCD right here. There's your AB. This is why there's your AB, and there's your CD. We said the low would be right about here. There it was, right there. There was the low, okay? And all you did now is you made another 382 of this one, and look what's happening. We're starting to move down. We're in a bear market now in crude oil, folks, believe it or not, and that's pretty much what we're watching here, you see? It's important that this could not take that out. If it did, it changes the whole structure of everything, and until that happens, not going to be the same. So we're heading down here. We're now down $5 a barrel in oil here, folks, in just a matter of... Uh, uh, two days. This is well, three days. 28th, 29th. Uh, that's two days. See, that's how that works, right? And then the next one would be the 30th, which is the uh, Saturday. And we don't be, we won't be trading on Saturdays. That's it. Okay. So that's pretty much what we're watching here today. And uh, let's move on here to what's going on. And we'll be right back. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I put the wheat chart back up here because I'm a little curious about it now to see, to see wheat break 45 cents in one day, folks. <laughs> That's really unusual. As you notice here, just a few weeks, a few days ago, back here on the 10th, we were looking to be a buyer on this ABCD pattern. We had a really nice, there's your A leg. Ah, shut the front door. Had the wrong tool. There's your A, B, C, D coming in right here. And just absolutely perfect. We measured the time down, if you remember, everything lined up pretty good. Had a really nice rally up here. And then it's had the break. But, boy, this is really in bad shape here. Here's what's interesting to me. Now, I've been a little busy doing other things today. But uh, if I'd had a clear handle, there's yesterday's high at 585. And there's today's high a uh, half a cent higher. Now, if that's exactly 382, that's an ideal type of uh, thing. But you've got to go, you're going to have to go into report. But the thing is, if it's right, you know, you can see what happened here. Let's just measure it from the high. Looks, looks like 50%. Let's just double check here. Uh oh, no, it is. It's right at, uh, oh, well, yeah, you see it here. It's it's just a little above, but this is only three cents. So your 382 comes in here at 583, and a high is 585. And now it's trading, uh, wow, that's hard to believe. 46 cents lower in wheat. I just can't imagine how bearish that report had to be because I'll have to check with Rich Anderson here over the weekend to see why it's so uh, 
Very, very now. Someone's asking me, am I picking a bottom in here? Hello, operator. No. This is what I think could happen to stocks, actually. That's just like the S and P here today at uh, thirty, excuse me, at forty uh, three uh, sixty nine, which was a six one eight retracement or three eight two retracement of the high back here. This looks the same. So if we start going below here, that's what you're looking at. So folks, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And make sure you do something for your neighbors. See you on the flip side on Monday. Thank you.